Anyway, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got a new MW Extreme Women's Champion in Juicy Lucy. And now, we're going to have a Fatal 4 away elimination match to determine a standby number one contender for the MW Extreme Women's Championship. Because, you know the, you know the usual. Once you lose the title, you instantly get a rematch for the championship. Yeah, well, what actually happened was, ladies and gentlemen, we let Chris Kennedy pin both of them. And, um, for some reason, Juicy Lucy decided to swipe the title from Chris Kennedy. So now we've got a predicament here. Chris Kennedy's got to get her belt back, and she will get her belt back. Do not listen to the Patriot, ladies and gentlemen, because that Don't never happened. To trust. Chris, because anyway, Chris Kennedy was eliminated by Phoenix Blacksmith, which led to, which led to him, to her, and Juicy Lucy facing each other for the title. And Phoenix Blacksmith ends up losing the very belt to Juicy Lucy, and which leads to this match involving. A fatal four-way to determine the standby number one contender for the Extreme Women's Championship. One of them you just saw coming down to the ring was Megan the Dragon Butterfly Stark. This one, coming down to the ring, is the anti-diva Makoto Ishikawa. Don't start, Patriot. I'm already in a bad mood. This, C this CPV sucks. Don't watch it. Oh, come on. At least be grateful that you're... That your um, wife, the Patriots, has made a um, made an excellent debut in in MWE. Oh, be only... grateful. Be grateful for that. That's the only shining factor, and the fact that Chris Kennedy put her heart and soul on the line for you, spoiled fans. Hey, they're not spoiled. They're they spoiled. are spoiled. They are spoiled. They don't they're... want Chris Kennedy as champion, even though she's here to save you. Oh, come on, they're grateful of the fact that Chris Kennedy tried very, very hard to win, she baby. Won. It just wasn't her time. Oh, she won. You took that belt from her. Like the little dictator you are. Hey, I'm no... Hey, I'm no dictator. Thank God I'm not Hitler. Or are you? Oh, no, I ain't. Anyway... Everybody, it's Hitler! Anyway, the third contender in this fatal four-way match... She, she is the leader of Roxy's dungeon, Roxy Darkheart. Everybody, this is Hitler. He just said if you're a Jew, go into the oven. Cut it out. Hey, you're, I'm just telling them what you told me. I told them, I told them that I am no Hitler. You just said you are Hitler. I know. No, I didn't. You know dang well what I said. Anyway, the Dark Mistress, Roxy Darkheart, slowly but surely, in a seductive sense, coming down to the ring, once she becomes the number one contender for the MWE Extreme Women's Championship. Why does she remind me of Ashley Hartogram? You keep talking about Ashley Zombie. Haven't seen that woman in a while. Cause like I said, she used to be the leader of Roxy's Dungeon until she, until she for some particular reason quit in WWE, which caused Roxy Darkheart to come back. Oh, and here comes the fourth competitor in this fatal four-way elimination match. Manager, manager of the MWE Unified Tag Team Champions, the Twilight Outlaws. She is the country girl, Daisy James. What? You heard me. No, really. What? What? Hey, what? Anyway, Daisy James, Megan, Megan Stark, Roxy Darkheart, and Makoto Ishikawa are all are all now going after each other. Megan already going after Daisy, and already Roxy going after Makoto Ishikawa, making sure that she gets sent over the top rope. And yes, this isn't over a top rope battle royal. Oh, yeah. Roxy oh, Darkheart now. Roxy Darkheart going after Makoto Ishikawa making sure that she doesn't that she does get sent over the top rope Daisy going after Megan and already Makoto Ishikawa is eliminated Oh what a surprise oh, And Daisy is like she's going after Megan the Dragon Ball Flash Stark oh, Man this is getting very interesting here Daisy 
just eliminated Megan the Dragon Butterfly Stark. And now it's down to Roxy Darkheart and Daisy James. Which one of these two ladies is going to become the standby number one contender for the MWE Extreme Women's Championship? And I care why! Because one of them's one of them's going to become standby number one contender. And I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's um Daisy James. And no, you can't say the Patriots and you can't say Chris Kennedy because both of those ladies are not in this match. I'm tired and I'm bored. Mm, too bad because coming up next after this match is the main event. Black Arachne again against Penny Stokes for the NWE Women's Championship. Yeah. I need to go to bed. Good night! <laughs> go to bed? He ain't even past your bedtime yet. I don't have a bedtime. I'm a hard-working man. Mm, hard-working? Mm. Mm, I know one day when NWE Clash come, comes back, you will have your first match, but I'm not going to tell you who your opponent's going to be. Well, where is Clash to begin with? Right now, some of the NWE wrestlers are hard at work training. Training, training, so that way when Clash does come back, they'll be, they'll be ready and in on full force. Ooh, already against the ropes, Daisy James. Ooh, got sent over the top rope there. And now Roxy Darkheart well, was just standing there hoping to um, send over the top rope, but again against the ropes. But Daisy trying to fight back. Oh man, ends are great to the back of the head. Roxy Darkheart putting in some work here. And already... More kicks to the abdomen. Back and forth kicks by both of these ladies. Oh man, clothesline by Daisy James. Daisy really wants to become MWE Extreme Women's Championship number one contender. Hey. Yeah, just let me know when you get the belt back for Coach Kennedy and give it back to her. Just, just let me know. I'm not going to do no such thing. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, Juicy uh, Lucy is your winner and you have to get used to it. Uh, no, she cheated. She lied. She cheated to steal. Oh, she didn't do no cheating, but now Roxy Darkheart is now trying her very best to send Daisy James over the top rope. But Daisy needs to fight off Roxy Darkheart to stay in this Extreme Rules, um, Fatal 4-Way, not Extreme Rules, but Fatal 4-Way, um, elimination match. But to no avail, as you can see, Roxy Darkheart is your MWE Extreme Women's Championship number one contender. Oh, well now Monoxide has something to brag about. Well, not only Monoxide, but also Kenji Fujimoto. Well, it might be it might be her destiny to, to bring back the MW Extreme Women's title because she once held it until she lost it to Megan the Dragon Ball 5 Star. Mm. So congratulations are in order to Roxy Darkheart, who is now the number one contender for the MW Extreme Women's title. Oh, and we get to hear from Black Arachnia. <laughs> 